What's that? You say you don't have time to keep up to date with all the product reveals and product updates from the recently held FS Expo? Well, no problem. Here's your 10 minute summary. Welcome to the Sim Hanger. My name's Mark. Thank you very much for watching and let's get started after a quick word from this video sponsor. Flight Sim Builder is an American based company that provides navigational units such as the GNS 530 and 430 and G1000 for use with X-Plane and Microsoft Flight Simulator. I have personally used these items and recommend them. If you'd like to know more, check out my videos. Link in the notes below. These Flight Sim peripherals allow you to take advantage of the pop-out panels available. In the case of Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's auto-configures. And anything you can do in Sim, you can do with these units. And provides great tactile feedback, including twin rotary dials and push buttons very reasonably priced in comparison to the competition. Link to Flight Sim Builder's website in the notes below. Let's kick off with Thrustmaster, one of the most established names for peripheral supply. And they unveil their Viper throttle quadrant system. Squarely aimed at you fighter pilots out there, it's been developed in conjunction with the US Army, and Thrustmaster say it's a one-to-one -one scale replica. It features mechanical levers and a somewhat unique and authentic handle rotation on the throttle itself. Realistic landing gear lever and the supporting control panel is backlit. Includes all the normal switches and dials you would expect including the flare button. You can purchase this in three different configurations. The mission pack which includes the throttle and panel. That's going to be around 530 US. The throttle quadrant system on its own for around 330 US, or if you've already got a throttle, you have the option just to purchase the panel for 250. Pre-orders starting in August, first shipments expected in October 2023. Foscal Simulations, a developer I'm not familiar with to be honest, announced a new helicopter coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 in the very near future. It's the Cesse 8. Apologies if I've butchered that name. According to Fastcow, it will feature highly detailed internal and external modelling and textures, with some depth to the system simulation. Due for release soon, pricing details still to be announced. If you're growing frustrated by the lack of realistic ATC within Microsoft Flight Simulator, well beyond ATC, maybe a product you should be looking at. Developer says this will be released soon, utilizing realistic voices via AI with 100 regional accents, I'm assuming at this stage all in English, voice recognition, interaction with AI traffic, and inbuilt support for FS LTL and just flights FS traffic. It'll also feature SimBrief integration with dynamic SID and star selection, as well as IFR and VFR support. Worth keeping your eye on this one. If like me, you're an ex-FSX or prepared user, then the next one from A to A is what we've been waiting for. It's their Comanche 250, featuring their unique AccuSim support. If you're not familiar with A to A simulations, they are the producer of the highest quality aircraft with a singular, no dogged approach to realism. In my opinion, they're right up there with PMDG in terms of attention to detail. This product is currently under beta test and should be available to PC users in the not too distant future. Pricing still to be confirmed, but don't expect it to be a bargain price. But if only the best will do for you, well, this may be on your list. A2A simulations have been a long time coming to Microsoft Flight Simulator. I understand they also have another one or two aircraft in development, all of which are expected to use the AccuSim, which enhances both flight model and other external factors. Come on A2A, get it out. Release just before FS Expo, Navigraph announced Charts 8, which now has the added functionality of weather layers. As with all Navigraph products, professionalism and accuracy is key, and this product's no exception. Innybuilds, a developer growing in importance in the sim world, announced their next product. It's the Airbus 300-600. This bird is a classic, and from the previews we've seen, well, the detail looks, well, stunning. No confirmed dates yet for the Microsoft Flight Simulator release. 
but the A300-600 for X-Plane has been out for a while now. You've probably heard of Vinibuilds before. They work in partnership with Microsoft Flight Simulator and provided the Airbus 310 for the 40th anniversary edition. From what we can see here, well, texturing seems to be top-notch. Now I'm aware we're not looking at the finished article yet. Pricing and release date still to be confirmed, but definitely slated for a 2023 release. Something many of us have been waiting for, an update from Honeycomb Aeronautical. New product coming out is the flap kit, which includes both Boeing and Airbus, designed for the Bravo throttle quadrant and available for 30 US. Product shipping July or August. Nikki from Honeycomb advised that production had started on the USB powered hub, something I'm interested in. Built for flight simulation with a guaranteed 5 volts per port. This is a powered USB hub. Designed to stop those USB ports shutting down mid-flight. Price 50 US dollars. Should be available for pre-order soon. Something I was unaware of, they're introducing a flight chair with removable armrests. But of more importance to many of us, what's happening with the Charlie rudder pedals? We've experienced delay after delay. A honeycomb reported they continue to have component supply problems delaying production. Nikki stated categorically he's not willing to compromise on the quality of the internal components. Unfortunately, he said he needs to announce a further delay to fourth quarter 2023, or perhaps worst case, quarter 1 2024, due to the reasons already mentioned. Nikki said for those that have pre-orders and decide not to cancel, he'll be looking at a rebate or credit of Something around 50 US dollars. If you're one of those that fall into that category, then keep a close eye on their website and forums for further details and timings. Honeycomb also announced the Tango Foxtrot flight stick and throttle is on pause until further notice and resolution of the supply chain issues. Come on, Honeycomb, keep the community updated. We also got a sneak peek at the upcoming Delta flight displays. This looks exciting and would really add the final touch to your honeycomb cockpit. Using bespoke developed software, these panels are designed to carry out multiple functions, come in two sizes, 12 inch and seven inch, allowing users to mix and match depending on the aircraft that they are flying. These displays, which are operated via Wi-Fi, will have two rotary knob, single rotary at the top and a dual rotary on the bottom, from G1000s through to military configurations. But what's really interesting is they have a sensor built in, which is in effect a proximity sensor. So here we have a classic airliner setup, but note the autopilot is missing. Move your hands closer to the screen and they automatically change to show you the autopilot functions. Pull your hands away again and your normal displays are shown. This is a very cool feature. Delivery periods unknown. SoFly announced a new add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's animals. Other than a teaser trailer, very little other information was available. But in principle, this will populate your world with animals. And the type of animals will depend where in the world you are. So you'll get pandas in China and lions in Africa, as well as whales in the ocean. Check out their website link in the notes below for further details. A joint Microsoft and a Sobo presentation was provided. I've done a separate video on that covering Flight Sim 2024. Link to that video in the notes below. Just Flight announced a development update on their Airbus 300 B4 Professional and have subsequently issued a teaser trailer for this upcoming aircraft. And I must say that the texturing and level of detail really looks superb. As this aircraft will form part of their professional series, there's going to be some considerable depth to the systems. And from what we can see, I think it'd be safe to say very few, if any, shortcuts have been taken on this one. This is one I'll certainly be keeping my eye on. It could be a cracker. At FS Expo, the fly-by-wire team were giving a short demo on the A380, which remains in development, 
Release date is not known, but I'm going to guess it's early 2024. And based on their previous contributions, well, this is one to look forward to. Be great to see those A380s in all virtual skies. And lastly, as far as product updates are concerned, Flight Control Replay are releasing version 5, now available via the SIM market. This is an incredibly powerful and versatile recording program for Microsoft Flight Simulator with a whole host of special functions and features. PMDG and Phoenix A320 compatibility and available now for around 24 euros. Well, that's not all the updates. I'm sure I've missed some, but they're the highlights I'm aware of. Thank you very much for joining me today. Stay well, look after yourselves. I'll see you all again very soon. And bye for now.